Hello and welcome to this week's Modern Toy Fair Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Two-Face figure. If you've already managed to snag one of these, let me know in the comments below what you think about it, or if you're still on the hunt for Two-Face. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first up we're going to look at how the figure turned out. So we're going to start at the head. You've got the Harvey Dent side of the face. You've got some light brushing there. Eyebrows, you've got the detailed hair. And if you swing around the other side, you've got the two-faced side, which is all melted and burned. And it does look a little soft when you have it in harsh lighting. But I do promise you, when you actually like get it in good lighting while taking photos, it really stands out. The suit, it's, it's a little bit of an upgrade. It's definitely reminiscent of the John Wick suit. You do have the kind of silk shirt and tie and then the belts underneath. And then you do have the red and black going all the way down, even through the legs. We've got that nice crease in the pants. The shoes are nice. They have a little bit of sculpt there for the shoelaces and for like the detail in the stitching. Gloves are really nice as well. You can see a little bit of wrinkles where like he's clenching his fist, which is really nice. And you have both the red and black. And if you spin them around, pretty much the same as the front, just more red and black for the suit. Next up is articulation. Start at the head. You do have the all-in-one head and neck sculpt here. It does tilt decent to the left and to the right. You do get a little bit up, decent amount down, and then of course it does spin all the way around both directions. Arms get pretty far up there before they get too hindered. They do not have any bicep swivel, but it does go straight forward and backwards. It's about as far as you can go without being hindered too much by the suit jacket. And then if you get down to the elbows, they are single jointed, but they have a rotation to them. So you can kind of swing it around and swivel it. And then the wrist peg is always pretty far back and forward and spins 360 degrees all the way around. Now this is where they did upgrade the body. It does have a lot more ab crunch than like the Joker figure did, for instance. You can see, see a little better there. You can go pretty far back as well. So you can get a little more motion out of him. And then of course his suit jacket is actually wired so you can kind of have it flowing through the wind without having to just finagle it. It is wired on both sides and back. Legs go pretty far out, and then pretty far forward. Not a lot of back because, you know, the plastic for the butt. Double joint knees though. And then you do have a little bit of swivel there. It's a little hindered because of the suit, but it is what it is. And then shoe goes a little bit forward, a little bit back. But well, you got a decent amount of tilt out of it, which is nice, so you can get them in some different poses. So, overall, considering two faces and a martial artist, I feel like the articulation is pretty solid for this figure. Alright, on to accessories. So we do have the screaming head sculpt. You can see his hair is a lot more messy on the Harvey Dent side. And then, of course, you've got all the burns and all the melted flesh on that side. You do get the Harvey Dent head. Which, I'm sorry, this is just John Hamm to me. It, that's really all I can see. It's a cool ad, but I didn't need it. You do have this case that has a bomb inside. So it does have a little handle. And then you lift the little latches like so. And there you go. You've got a little control panel. And then it even lights up. You can just press it. And then you can see even the little light by the keypad kind of blinks to show that the timer is going down. Then you have his double-barreled pistol. It does cock back. You can remove the magazine out of the bottom. And then it goes right back in. Do you have the holes for the bullet effects, of course? And of course we have his double-barreled submachine gun, which is pretty cool. Same thing. It does have the removable mags that just pop right out. You see little bullets on there. And slide right back in. 
And then you have a rocket launcher. It does just have the two little barrels there. And then you have the triple bullet effect, which we've already had quite a few times. We've got the more spiky bullet effect, like the newer style. We've got the shotgun blast. And then we have the original bullet effect that they did. And of course we have the missile effect, so that way you have something to shoot out your missiles. You can do two of those in there as well. As you can see, you can only fit one bullet effect in the pistol. However, the SMG can fit two if you have them. And then you do get these bandages. I'm not overly like a huge fan of them because they're a little stiff. I'll actually show you how they look compared to how like actual bandages have. So here's the Mezco bandages. As you can see, pretty stiff, kind of flat looking, just look unnatural to me. And then here we have the like bandages I got from Walmart and I cut up into little strips. And as you can see, to me that just looks more natural. It's more flush to the head versus the Mezco ones just feel very, very stiff. And then you do have the base, which I think this is pretty cool with the gloss and matte finish. We've got that Too Faced logo that I didn't even know was a real thing. Hands, you do have these kind of open, relaxed hands, which are pretty cool. Got a lot of detail in those. You've got some ready to flip the coin hands. You got the little quarter there on each. You've got the playing with the quarter throughout his fingers. You've got one for right and left. You've got trigger hands, one for each side as well, so he can dual wield if you want. And then you do have the flipping of the quarter hand, which actually can fit in the little quarter flipping effect. Let me pop that in there. There you go. So you can see that way he can be flipping the quarter up in the air. It's a really cool little effect they did. And then you do have the quarter laying on the back of the left palm. And then you do have this larger trigger hand meant for his double barrel pistol. You do get extra mags as well. And then you do get four of these knives, quarter effects, and then actual quarters themselves. All right, quick size comparison. So as you can see, we've got him here next to Jim Gordon. He's a little bit taller than him. Hit next to Batman. He's a little bit taller, but Batman's also in a more like action stance. And then you've got him compared to Darkseid, who's significantly taller. All right, last up is the box. So you've got the red and black. The red's a little more like scratchy. You've got the Two Face logo. On this one side you've got the red. Other side you've got the black. Spin it all the way around. You've got the figure with all of the accessories. Got some pictures of him down at the bottom. Then top you got the 112 Collective logo. Bottom you've got all of the, let me see here, all the warning labels. And if you take the slip cover off like so, you've got just a plain box like the rest of them. All right, so overall, I'm super happy with how this figure turned out. The suit jackets are very hit or miss with Mezco. They are definitely very restrictive and sometimes can be a little puffy or look a little bulky on the different figures just because of how small the figures are. But overall, I'm really happy with it, and especially with the face sculpt and everything. So let me know in the comments below what you think of Two Face and if you are planning on picking one up or if you already have. But that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notifications when our videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and Modern Toy Fair news with me and Jamar on Fridays. If you want to support the channel, there's a little link below for tpublic.com. It takes you to our store. We have all sorts of different shirts and mugs, phone cases, pillows, all sorts of stuff with our logo on it or just other designs that I've worked up in Photoshop, so feel free to give those a look. Also, make sure to check us out on social media. Twitter and Instagram are at Modern Toy Fair. We do currently have a giveaway going on, so also check out Modern Toy Fair News to hear more about that. Hopefully, we'll see you next week, same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thanks for watching.